Hello all my VSW VIM members, how you all doing today? VSW here, and today I'm going to be giving all of you my predictions for this Sunday Smackdown Live WWE Pay-Per-View Battleground. What do I think will happen? Here we go. Okay, we're going to start off with the flag match where the returning 16-time world champion John Cena goes one-on-one -on -one with the returning Bulgarian brute and former two-time United States champion Rusev. Now, of course, as you may know, Rusev was known for his undefeated streak. Nobody could beat him. And he defeated Sheamus on Raw to win his first United States Championship. And nobody was able to beat him for it. Nobody. That was until John Cena came along and defeated him at WrestleMania 31, marking his first pinfall defeat. And on the WWE draft, he was drafted to Raw, but due to the Superstar shakeup, he was moved to SmackDown. But he said he would not wrestle for SmackDown unless he got a championship match at Money in the Bank, which didn't happen. But when John Cena returned to SmackDown, Rusev returned too. Still as a villain because he is still saying bad things about America. And John Cena challenged Rusev that night to a flag match, but he said no. But that match is official for Battleground. John Cena versus Rusev in a flag match. My prediction is the winner is going to be the 16-time world champion, John Cena. Next up, we got the current SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the Usos, defending against the longest reigning WWE World Tag Team Champions in history, the New Day. Now, of course, as you may know, the Usos and the New Day battled it out on SmackDown Live in a rap battle, which the New Day won because the Usos got disqualified. And the other time, the New Day challenged the Usos for the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles. They won the match, but didn't win the titles because it was a count out. So, this Sunday at Battleground, the New Day will get their rematch. My prediction is that the Usos will once again retain the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships because, one, I do see the New Day as the champions one day, but still not right now. And two, the Usos like to say it, it's not paranoia, it's the Usos. Next up, we got two-time NXT champion and New Japan Pro Wrestling legend Shinsuke Nakamura, who will go one-on-one -on -one with the Lone Wolf, Mr. Money in the Bank, and Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner, Baron Corbin. Shinsuke Nakamura was making his entrance at Money in the Bank, but Baron Corbin attacked him and attacked him again on a SmackDown Live show. And excuse me with my eyes, but it keeps feeling like it's burning. I don't know why. But the match is now official. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin this Sunday at Battleground. Even though I kind of see Shinsuke Nakamura winning this match, I'm going to go on a limb and say that the winner is going to be Baron Corbin, the lone wolf. Next up, we got the new United States champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles, defending it against Kevin Owens. Now, of course, AJ Styles won the 4th of July Battle Royal to become number one contender. And when we thought Kevin Owens was going to defend the title against AJ Styles at Battleground, come to find out, he was defending it against AJ Styles at a live show, which AJ Styles won. So now it's the other way around. AJ Styles will defend the United States Championship against Kevin Owens. Because last time, AJ Styles had the chance to become the U.S. champion, but didn't work out. But now that he is the champion, he will be defending it this Sunday against KO. My prediction is that the phenomenal AJ Styles will retain because Kevin Owens don't want none. 
Next up, we got Charlotte Flair going up against the first ever women's champion on SmackDown Live, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Tamina, and the ravishing Lana in a fatal five-way match to determine who will challenge Naomi for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship at SummerSlam. Now, as you may remember, all these women, except for Lana, battled it out on SmackDown Live before the match started with Shane McMahon. The commissioner came out and said that they were going to compete in the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match at Money in the Bank, which James Ellsworth ruined. Oh yeah, and also except for Carmella because she is the Miss Money in the Bank. But if you like James Ellsworth, that's fine. Because as pro wrestling fans, we can like and dislike whoever we want. So again, if you like James Ellsworth, if you support James Ellsworth, fine. Like and support whoever you want. I don't like him. But again, if you do, fine. But getting back to the match... James Ellsworth got suspended from SmackDown Live for interfering in the second Miss Money in the Bank ladder match when he was supposed to be banned from the arena, but that time Carmella was able to retrieve the briefcase on her own. But now the match is official. Fatal 5-way match. Who will face Naomi for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship at SummerSlam? This is going to be a tough one because... Here, I don't know who is going to win, but I'm going to go on a limb and say that the winner and the one who is going to challenge Naomi for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship at SummerSlam is going to be Lana, because she may win the match somehow. So I think Lana is going to win. Now, before we get to the main event, let's talk about the match on the kickoff show where Aiden English will get his rematch against the Perfect Ten, Ty Dillinger, where he says he will sing. Nobody wants to hear Aiden English sing. Nobody. He's talking about he can sing. No, you can't. Well, maybe other people can think you can sing, but I don't. But... For some reason, Aiden English is getting a rematch against Ty Dillinger. And guess what? I say that Aiden English is going to lose again. Because my prediction is the perfect 10 will win again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. The main event where the current WWE Champion, the modern day Maharaja... Jinder Mahal defends against Randy Orton in the returning Punjabi prison. Now, backlash, Jinder Mahal pulled up one of the biggest upset wins in WWE history, defeating Randy Orton to win his first ever championship in the WWE. His first defense, he retained, but the Sin Brothers had the audacity to put their hands on Randy Orton's father, Bob Orton, which was a big no-no. Putting your hands on Randy Orton's father is something that you just don't do. So he had every right to be angry. But SmackDown Live, he got his rematch, but Jinder Mahal got to pick the stipulation, and he chose the returning Punjabi prison. So the match is on for this Sunday at Battleground. My prediction is that the winner will be the modern-day Maharaja Gender Mahal. And that will do it, folks. Those are my predictions for WWE Battleground this Sunday. Leave your opinions and predictions down in the comments below. And until then, I say, God bless, take care, stay safe, Welcome to VSWville. We are professional wrestling fans forever, and that's the bottom line, because VSW said so. Fist bump. Whoosh.